To the royals because the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have begun their visit to Nigeria, not technically royal of course anymore, um, or certainly not officially. And, uh, Hello everyone, I had no intention of actually um, speaking, but I had to call this out a little bit because maybe it's just me being a little bit touchy or something, I'm not quite sure. But was it necessary for her to do that intro the way she did it? Like adding on, well, they're not royals anymore. Well, technically they're not, but um, they're not working royals. Prince Harry is still a prince. The Duke 
and Duchess of Sussex are still the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They don't use their HRH um, titles because of what the agreement was, but technically they're still royals. They're still part of the royal family. So what was that all about? Harry and his wife Meghan were greeted there at an event in Abuja. It's the start of a three-day trip, which is at the invitation of the Chief of Defence Staff. Harry will attend a reception to honour military families and Meghan will co-host an event for women in leadership. They also are going to several events together, including a visit to a school where they spoke about mental health. So we promise to us that after today, no more being scared, no more being unsure of mental health. If you are unsure, then ask. Ask your teachers, ask your friends. Be there for one another. If you see your friend in your class not signing, what are you going to do? Are you going to check on them? Are you going to ask them if they're okay? Okay, not okay. So just like that, we celebrate all the good stuff and we're with each other even in the moments that are sad. We are just together, so we're together with you and we appreciate all of you. speak to our correspondent Jenny Kumar who's in the Isles of Scilly off the coast of Cornwall where Prince William is but let us um, first of all speak to our reporter Simi Joloso who is in Abuja for us and just give us a sense Simi there of the reaction and the reception that Harry and Meghan are getting. Well, the kids here at this school where uh, they visited earlier this morning were really excited to meet Prince Harry and Meghan. Uh, the couple appeared very relaxed with the kids. Uh, they met primary and uh, secondary school children. Uh, Meghan even opened up about her own kids, saying uh, things about how Lily, who is turning three, enjoys singing and dancing, uh, and how uh, Archie, uh, who is five, enjoys construction. Um, they spent the Today, as you heard, talking about mental health and the Duke, when he was speaking on stage, uh, spoke about how the kids should not be afraid about speaking about grief, um, emotions like grief or stress that they may feel and that they should work together to conquer the stigma surrounding mental health worldwide. Okay, Simi, thanks very much indeed. Well, the Prince of Wales is visiting the Isles of Scilly today as part of a two-day tour of Cornwall in the southwest of England. And uh, our reporter, Jenny Kumar, is there. Jenny, what's the reception, reception there to Prince William? Well, the sun's shining here and he got a very welcome, very warm welcome here. Uh, he's just left at this hospital, a community hospital here in the Isles of Scilly. Scilly and he's asked... Okay, okay, okay. I had to stop it again. Because as a person who consumes a lot of media, and I'm not going to say I'm, I'm the most educated person on media, um, but I know a little bit of how media works. What the heck is, is happening? Now, you can, you can, you, listen, you can, you can say, Antonio, you are just being a little bit too sensitive and you're reading into into too much or, or, or whatever. Fine. If that's the case, that's the case. But here's my issue. Number one, when they were talking about going to one of the correspondents, the person, whoever is in the control room, seems confused as to which black lady to go to. Like, do they not know which one is which one? That's number one. Number two. So... This is what this is call, called, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's called crossfire. Crossfire is when you put two stories or two, two opposite f um, factions right next to each other because you want to create the, the kind of crossfire, right? You, you're trying to create conflict or you, you're trying to show conflict. Did they really have to put, you know, and juxtapose the two? Oh, here is Prince 
um, Harry and here is Prince William doing his thing and 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 then be like, but how how were they received? I, I, I just find the whole thing like like just just a bad sort of setup, right? And then as uh, as 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 the one reporter that's in um in Saint in Saint Mary's um when she was saying something about the, uh, yeah it's very warm here and he's been received with a warm um you know wh- whatever um then all of a sudden they they pan back to the other reporter and that reporter is sort of like shaking her head like what like no like I, wh- I'm, like what's going on. Like really, <laughs> you know, and and I yes, I might be a little bit too like, whatever. But these things are not done just just like, right? Like at least this whole setup of putting the two stories right back to back and having the two reporters at the same time, it's crossfire. They're looking to 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 create that um, conflict, or to I don't know, instigate it even more. Oh, yeah. BBC, come on. Uh, by one member of staff, how Princess Kate was doing, who recently announced that she was undergoing cancer treatment, and the response was that she was doing really well. Um, Thank you.